huge benefit to buying this house was there was no garden beds. All that was planted here was about four trees and these two azaleas. Well, they're in my way, so bye. So what I've been doing is digging a hole that's pretty darn deep, like that's almost twice the size depth wise as my container because this soil is beyond rocky like look at all that. I mean I'm from the Rocky Mountains but what is up with this? So when you see that I've been digging a hole, what I do is I've kind of been saving the grass that I've been skimming off the top and I throw that into the bottom of the hole, not only to fill it up to level it off to the soil line, but also that way then it starts adding nutrients down to the bottom because this soil has no worms in it. Like, it's crazy. That's why I've been throwing in the grass and the biotone into it. I absolutely love saying this. The Pinky Winky Hydrangea from Proven Winners grows six to eight feet tall and wide. It is zoned three through eight. This hydrangea is for the summer and fall interest, starting off with huge white blooms that turn pink with age for a beautiful two-toned effect. It prefers sun to part shade. I have planted mine more in the shade. This garden bed faces north. I do plan to add a few azaleas I just bought, some astilbes from my previous garden, and I would love to get some bleeding hearts in the spring. Might have to add some pansy seeds in here before it snows as well. Are you eating that flower? <laughs> 